the end of neoliberalism or are we going to see uh, even more as soon as the immediate financial crisis is over? Uh, my sense is that after the immediate end of the financial crisis, we're going to see more economic nationalism. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the reason that every country needs to lick its wounds right away. And as you mentioned earlier, needs mm. to see where its strengths are, build yeah. on those strengths and, and try to get competitive advantage. And secondly, because the main champion of neoliberalism at the global level is, is actually missing in action, which is, uh -huh. which is the United States. Yeah. China is supportive of mercantilism, which yeah. means that I, I maximize benefits to me without any kind of a investment in, 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 in a normative international order. Yeah. Now, now, down the road, once we have more stability, I think we could be back to where countries begin to understand that they're not going to grow any further under economic nationalism. Mm -hmm. So economic mm -hmm. nationalism is good for stability, is good for mm -hmm. crisis management, but, but generation of prosperity requires going back to globalization. Mm -hmm. You have to allow for more freedom of uh, movement of labor. You got to uh, uh, allow for more freedom of movement of information. And you got to allow for more trade if everybody's going to prosper. But, but I, I, I would say that probably is what we're looking at more medium run five years on.